guys, welcome back. So today's video is yet another fall makeup tutorial. I know, I know, but I can't help myself because I love fall. Gonna be okay, so we're gonna begin here. So I've already done my face, but if you want to see what I did, it's my fall winter routine. I will leave it right here, and you can go check it out. We're going in with naked palette to use Buck in the crease. This is going to be our transition shade in the crease. And then I'm using the blackout shade from the Tartlet palette. It's called Fashionista. I don't know why I said blackout, but that was weird. So I'm taking that and I'm going to start drawing that on the outer corner of my lid and bring it into the crease. And then I'm going to blend that out with the other crease brush with Buck on it. So we really want this black not to be too harsh, but still really smoky. So I'm applying it with the pencil brush to get real precise um, placement, and then I'm blending it out with that fluffy brush to kind of diffuse it a little bit. So I'm just going to keep building it up and blending it out until I get the desired pigment and saturation that I want. And then I'm going with uh, Virgin from the Naked Palette, and I'm putting that on the inner corner highlight. And then I'm going to take this NARS pencil in Scorpio, so this really pretty coppery color, and I'm putting that on the lid, just straight from the pencil onto the lid. And then I'm blending that out. Sorry this video is a little wonky, It the footage was really bad and I just, I made it work. So anyway, I'm blending that out, making sure everything kind of blends seamlessly um, together as one unit on my eyes. Okay, so then I'm taking the pencil brush again with Blackout. With, oh my god, why do I keep calling it Blackout? It's a Fashionista shade, and I'm just building that up. I'm just doing that build up, blend out thing. So I'm just blending that out a little bit. And then in this next clip coming up, my wing liner is already applied. I'm really sorry this footage was really hard to work with. I did not have good footage of the wing liner, so I'm sorry about that. But here it is applied, so I'm just kind of shaping it now that I have the wing liner applied with the black. And then I'm going in with that uh, NARS pencil again just to kind of brighten up the lid that got a little faded there. And then I'm just kind of blending everything together. So I'm running buck underneath my lower lash line just to get some transition there and then I'm running that black that black shade underneath the um, lash line to get a real smoky effect and then I'm taking Urban Decay Perversion and tight lining and water lining with this again to get that really smoky effect and then I'm taking this blush I'm so sorry this is all blurred out I don't know what was going on this day when I filmed this but anyway that's in mauve spraying and curling and using Benefit uh, Mascara. And then I'm taking this little it itsy bitsy bite uh, lipstick in Aubergine. This is in the Best Bite Rewind this year and I snagged it up and I love it. So I'm using this um, Aubergine shade for my lips today. And that will complete this look. Sorry it was so crazy. Um, and filming it was hard too, but oh well, we got it done. So hope you guys enjoyed this look, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to check out my latest videos right here, and you can follow me on Snapchat and um, Instagram, and don't forget to hit hey guys, that subscribe so button. today's video is going to be another video using the Makeup Forever Artist Palette Volume 2. This is a very fun palette to use because there's a lot of colors in it and there's a lot of neutrals in it. So today I used the kind of more neutrally sides. I used the whole left side, yes, the whole left side to create the 